In today's video, I am going to help you people how to make your petrochemical project using Primavera P6. So I am going to help you people first of all to understand how it will look like when you are going to understand that our petrochemical industry EPC project will be categorized. Uh, if I will show you in visualization, there is petrochemical industry. I'm going to segregate, break down this project into different phases, engineering, procurement, construction, then different stages will uh, be defined to understand in more accurate way that how I have to conduct my work on site in offices while having all these phases. So let's start with engineering, like design phase will be comprised of the process steps. Our basic design will be prepared, then detail engineering we will get into. Then this petrochemical industry, one more like process design will help us to, um, you know, understand our project. This is also integral part, then piping and instrumentation, PNID. Um, uh, diagrams and the design will be required. Environmental and, and safety compliant plans are very, very important because petrochemical industry is um, in demanding. In every industry, you have to incorporate safety 100%. Equipment design, whatever boilers are something like that you need, you have to. If you are going to uh, take this from, you know, the third party, then fine. Otherwise, if you are going to design or install or fabrication by on site, then obviously you need to take that design as well into that phase. In procurement, uh, once we know this concept, once we are going to make our designing phase like for each and everything, along with this design compilation, we are going to take MTO, material takeoff. I will help you people to understand this concept as well. So in some companies, there is MTO like material takeoff. If your 35% design is done, you are going to make MTO for that phase and going to initiate your procurement phase. You got it as per industrial practice, okay? And then your 65% design, okay? Then again, you are going to make rest of the items into MTO. Material takeoff quantities will be started and procurement planning will be initiated okay so like and then 100 percent and the rest of the items so that's how it will be processed in the industry and here we are in procurement there is material sourcing from where you are going to take your material equipment procurement from where you are going to buy your equipment reactors exchangers your storage tanks your pumps and compressors and by this stages i also mean if we need to fabricate our heat exchangers on site or not by third party then we need sheets so we have to mention those sheets instrumentation all those items under these stages as well for the procurement or material requirement plans so all these items procurement okay and then i would go into the details of the construction the third phase in construction, the first thing we have to make preparation of site work. That's why I help people to understand this concept. Even you are a chemical engineer, mechanical, electrical, and you are working as a planning engineer on petrochemical industry, you have to understand civil as well. See, without civil and structural works, you can't make mechanical installations. You need everywhere civil is there. Okay, equipment installations, piping systems electrical and instrumentation work, insulation and painting, safety and security measures. And then once it's done, commissioning will be start up, pre-commissioning checks, operational testing, performance validation, and all these things. See, these are the stages. This is what you need to put in Primavera P6 with very sequential way. This is your starter for project planning and scheduling. Once you will do it, I will help you how to do this all in Primavera P6. And here we are. This is Primavera P6. And I'm going to open that concerning file, Petrochemical. See this one. And now I have to incorporate my WBS over here, one by one. I have to incorporate engineering. Then the second one is procurement. Procurement. 
and then construction. You can go into activities and you can see refresh and get your data aligned like this way. Again, into WPS, now I have to break down my engineering into further categories, okay, one by one. Basic design, then we have our detailed design, all those stages. And then I will get back to that slide to make it more sure process design. Again, primary P6, there it will come process. Again, one more and you can get, actually you have to take care about this hierarchy, this parent child logic, everything is under engineering, okay? So again, this one, piping and instrument, PN I diagrams. You can make shortcut as well. Not shortcut, abbreviation. P N I D. Okay. But make it in caps. Again, one more. You have to incorporate all these things. Environment and safety compliance equipment design. So I'm going to dis, uh, equipment design. Now you have to further break down your equipment design P and ID to specify which item you are talking about. Okay. And in procurement, again, there are the things I have already mentioned in the slide. Material sourcing, equipment procurement, reactors, and one by one, you are going to mention over here. Again, break down this one into this material sourcing and then let me check again where it is, equipment procurement. And one more important thing I'm going to. Now, under equipment, you have to incorporate all reactor whatever you are going to okay see the difference same level but this is sublet level 2.2 under 2.2.1 because this equipment we are going to procure so it will come under this one so reactor again it is it will be again but make the same level okay for reactor so here we are, heat exchanger, storage tanks, pumps, compressor, and same way construction, all these stages will be added into Primavera P6. Once you will done with all these things, you will go into the activities, refresh all that data, and it will be shown you like this way, different stages. You can see that green level is the first level of your project scheduling, yellow level is the second level, and then this blue level, okay? You can change it as well. These colors can be changed. And in construction, when you are going to incorporate all your stages, including commissioning, closing, it will give you your project WBS. After this, we have to go into the process development that if basic design is there, what are the basic steps we have to incorporate to schedule, to plan and track our project. Same way for procurement, there is a specific process. But here in this video, I want to give you exposure how petrochemical industry will be uh, plan, schedule, and uh, the major thing from where we will get start to plan our project schedule is WPS on the dashboard of Primavera P6. If you want to know more about these things, you can join my upcoming live webinar. Job Carrier Insights are there. Primavera P6 planning control. Each and everything will be discussed. You can ask me the things. So that's it. If you have any query about this, write down in comment area.